Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video, and we have already found out what the next car will be in update 35. Now, as you can see here, this mysterious tweet from Forza Horizon 4 21 minutes ago. Stream alert, the next Forza Monthly will be this Thursday at 11 a.m. PT. Now, that is not the most important thing I need you to focus on. Look at the picture they're showing, especially the traction control red switch and also the dials. Now, you ninjas have already worked out the interior of this car. So without further ado, give the video a like and let's go discuss what this future car is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. And so, let's break down update 35 and the possible clues in this tweet from Forza Horizon 4. So without further ado, give the video a like and let's start at number one. Is this tweet from Forza Horizon 4? The next monthly will be this Thursday at 11 a.m. That's not important. What is important is the two switches in the picture you can see. When zoomed in, it looks like this. Now, the red switch highlighted in blue is a differential lock. Rear diff and front diff. For some reason, they decided to blur the front. I don't know why. Trying to be sneaky. But at the top highlighted in red, we've got a 12 kilowatt cigarette lighter. And on the right here is a low terrain, low gearbox uh, gear shifter. And, well, my soldiers, my spies, have already found out what this interior is. It is this, the 2021 Jeep Gladiator Willys Edition. Now, highlighted in red at the bottom, that's the low gear range uh, gearbox right there next to a semi-automatic park neutral drive and reverse. Ugh, it's, it's semi-automatic. No, it's automatic with a low range gearbox. Trash can. And then highlighted in red just above that is the same low range differential gearbox. And above that is the cigarette lighter you saw. Now, to compare these images, as you can see here, exactly the same, just highlighted in a better contrast. Now, the car at full spec looks like this. Now, you tell me your opinion. This is it, the 2021 Jeep Gladiator Willys. Absolutely, well, boring, if you ask me. Another letdown on Forza Horizon 4's behalf. Is this a fan favourite? Well, I don't know, but I know from the people that I speak to every day, well, they don't want this. It's just another pickup truck. It's just another V. It's a V6. It's a V6. It's a V6, boys, okay? So it's going to need a V8 or a V10 engine swap, and it's just going to have the same boring sound. And those tyres are too thin. Too thin. But if we can take the back cab out and maybe take the doors off, I know this is asking a lot and probably never going to happen, but if we can, just like we can with the 6x6, we can change the back cab and make it look cool, perhaps put some bull bars on the front, have some big ass lights on it, big thick ass tyres, maybe it might be decent, but then again boys, it's just another boring pickup truck. Now, you tell me in the comments below whether you're excited for this to be coming next week in update 35, because personally boys... Well, it's just another letdown on Forza Horizon 4's behalf. I know some of you are going to like it, but I know a lot of you are going to be feeling like me and very, uh, well, let down. Where is the transparency between the player base and the cars we want? Absolutely no one asked for this thing. I'll tell you what people are asking for. We want the Teslas from Forza Horizon 3 and the Rolls Royces, but most importantly, we want the Mark V Toyota Supra. If you added that in, that would seal everybody's wounds and everybody's hatred towards the current cars you are adding. Now, again, Mark V Supra, Audi RS3s, where's the M5 Estates? Where's the brand new Rangeries? Where, where, bro, what the hell is going on at Forza Horizon 4 when they're just adding these cars that no body and their mother is asking for like the razor and etc this jeep willies it's decent boys but it's a five out of ten it's going to handle like a bag of shit it's going to be an off-road car but there's better categories i'll just take a six by six i'll take a urus i'll take an x6 over this it's just a jeep at the end of the day and personally they're letting the ball down now to finish out, let's talk about the actual specs of this car and what it's going to have when it comes to the game. Now, this thing in real life starts at $30,900, so it's very, very cheap. Now, it's gas, of course, it's not electric. The transmission is a six-speed, so you're going to have to put an engine swap in it and maybe push it to eight gears to get it over doing 220 in Forza. It's four-wheel drive, which is a plus, of course. It's a V6. Yeah, V6, why is it... 
Why is it not a V8? Surely if it's a Willys edition, you would have thought that it would just, I don't know, have a little bit more juice. I don't know, put a Hellcat engine in it, make it cool. You, you never know. But yeah, it's a V6, six-speed manual, and this is a brand new car we're getting in Forza Horizon 4. The 2021 Jeep Gladiator Willys edition. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you let me know down below in the comments if this is a car you want to see, and if you're excited to be driving this round Edinburgh. Personally, I'm not. I wish they had cars that everybody wants to see, not these cars that nobody literally nobody wants. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's video and enjoyed this little insight of cars coming to Forza Horizon 4, please give the video a like because without your likes for some reason I don't earn more money and we all know what happens when Zanch doesn't earn money. Um, well, uh, I can't pay for the, uh, the electric and I won't be able to make videos. Anyway, boys and girls, peace and love and enjoy the Jeep when it arrives. Be sure to hold it because it will be 15 million in the next following weeks but that is for another video. Anyway, Peace and love, baby. Yeah, yeah.